Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. You guys saw our, our blueberries we planted, so we're going to just expand that cage and build a couple of raised beds in there, try and get the plants in there that, um, that we've got going. So, yeah. I'll come help you with that. You gotta chop it a couple more times. You're not gonna get anything out of there, or just a little time. So chop it three or four times in a circle. There you go. All right, let's try that. Nice. That's more better. You see, we already put uh, wood chips all over the blueberries. That'll help ground, co ground cover for weed control. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to put two beds. We're going to make some uh, three by six foot raised beds. We're going to put a piece of cardboard down, and then we're going to put some wire uh, mesh. Make sure the moles don't come up. And then we got to. I'm going to hang this gate right now. So I can probably tighten that one up one more turn and that'll help turn the gate. Repurposing a gate. What do you think guys? didn't cost me nothing except a little bit of time are any of you cheaper than I am than pulling out staples and reusing them this is temporary because we didn't want to put cement in there and we're gonna be doing a big garden at this point probably next year and we're gonna be putting 10 foot posts in a 50 by 100 we just don't have time this year, so this is temporary. That's why we're not putting cement in here. All right, guys, we got our fence posts re uh, rewired. We put these fence post clips on here for the T uh, post clips to keep the fencing. We stretched it a lot tighter. We don't have a fence puller, but we went ahead and just worked together and pulled it as tight as we possibly could by hand. Put all the clips on. And then we have got our posts for our gate and oh look at these weird bugs. Oh that's the one that threw in your shirt. Yeah. These things are ugly. Alright. Idaho bugs. Crazy. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna build the boxes and um, two raised bed boxes we're gonna lay right in right in here inside the gate together with our blueberries and that's going to be have to be our garden for this year I think unless for some crazy reason I have a few days off and I can go buy a bunch of posts and finish uh, clearing let me show you guys really quick so I I cleared all of this area right here but it's just at an angle I need to go about another 40 feet in there and then all the way across here because this is going to be a basically a 60 by 150 by 100 uh, orchard area so 
I went ahead and whacked all the weeds down. And then we've, I've got going to have to grade all this at some point, but we're going to have an orchard in here as well as our garden. So, all right, guys, this is day two. We we had to come back the next day to finish this little project up, but we found a gate on the property that uh, the previous owner had left and we repurposed this bad boy. It was in good shape and we went ahead and hung that sucker and made a little garden. We also added a couple of raised beds. So yeah, it's gonna work. Hopefully you guys can see that. I used the, uh, the half inch screen material. We put that underneath both of these things because we don't want any moles. So guys, you guys can see that uh, this fence is only six foot tall. Yes, I know the deer uh, can jump a six foot fence. We may have to put on some, um, kind of like Pappy Daddy's Ranch, what they had done with their garden. She added some some little pieces of PVC pipe about three feet up and she and they tied a string right here. That way the deer, they can't see the, the depth of what's going on and they're less likely to jump through the fence and try and get through. So, But this is at least a start and uh, we're working on the rest of it. So we're gonna see, so far the deer have not come in and tried to get our blueberries, but um, that's not to say that they won't in the future, especially with our uh, raised beds over here with the with the with the fresh veggies and stuff. So, anyway, uh, I'll keep you guys updated with that too. So we put the half-inch screen material underneath there with some cardboard on the ground first to kill the weeds. Put the half-inch screen material down, and then we put the raised bed on top of that. We put about three inches of this of these wood chips down underneath, and then we put the dirt dirt inside of here with the. With all of our plants so everything's taken off already it's only been a couple of days since we planted everything and it's, it's already taken off so um yeah guys this is going to be our garden i think for this year we're not going to have time to um we're just running out of time to to build the garden uh and the orchard the way we want to so that's going to be next spring's project we might get it done this year but we're not going to be able to really plant a whole lot might be able to plant some fruit trees before uh, the, the end of the season so that they get set up before winter time so so there you go guys here's the you guys saw the blueberry bushes we planted and we've got the gardening going strawberries some tomatoes and some peppers uh, I've got some garlic and some onions and some cantaloupe and we're trying to get something going so guys thanks for watching keep you guys updated as we're trying to prepare as things are going crazy in the world and uh, yeah hopefully Hopefully this next season I'm going to get myself an elk as well as a deer and uh, we're going to can that meat and uh, make some ground venison. Uh, stay tuned for that. So it's July and it's getting hot up here, which is amazing. But um, thanks guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.